Hello, friends, Romans, and also countrymen, and welcome to another Redstone Adventures with Splice. So, um, we're here with something you probably haven't seen yet. Now, I'm just going to note that this requires the 1.4, one of the 1.4 snapshots, or uh, 1.4, which comes out in a day, I think, from when this video will come out. Now, this is command blocks. Now, I'm not meaning to type in there, but <coughs> command blocks. Um, the purpose of command blocks will be shown in a second. Now, I'm going to use this one first because it actually applies to this. Basically, what a command block does is you input a command into the block, and when it's powered by redstone, it will execute that command. This works with single player commands as well as in multiplayer. Now I'm going to click that and it sets the time to day. Now this is a very useful little thing and I'll show you a contraption later that you can build with this that'll be very useful if you are into building redstone. Now I'm just going to start from left to right and show you all these things. So first off the give command you can I'm just this is the basic commands you'll probably be using also bats are kind of annoying they're in part of the the update they're kind of skittery and flying around everywhere um now this is the give command all it did was give me uh, you can't really see it but there gives me stone so that uh is just the simple give at p one now, these are really, really helpful down here. The at P, at R, and at A. Uh, at P, of course, target nearest players. At R, random player. And at A, target all players. Now, these are the most useful things. You have to have them in there. Um, and they're just really good for specifying what players you are targeting uh, when you use the command block. So this is the TP command. I have set up this box here just to be the teleport point. Um, now this command is just TP, at P, and then the coordinates of that point. So that's really useful for if you want like teleport stations, you can build them completely vanilla in Minecraft now, which is very cool. Uh, of course, the time set one, that's pretty simple, just time set day. You can change this to say time set night, there, time set night. Or you can change it to, say, time set 1,000, just to specify specific hours or specific periods of time. Go away, bat. Um, yeah, you can specify uh, numbers as well as the shortcuts of day and night. And I think noon works as well. Let's see, noon. Noon does not work. I thought it did. I guess not. Well, let's just set it back to day. Um, toggle downfall. This is a useful one. Uh, it just toggles whether it's raining or snowing or not. You just turn it on and off. And I'm just going to show you real quick uh, weather. There's a, a slash weather one that works as well. Now what I'm going to do over here actually is I'm going to set this to 137 because there's something I didn't mention is you cannot get command blocks. If you look, I didn't mean to do slash. I'm so used to that. Command blocks do not exist in your creative inventory, meaning you have to actually spawn them with the slash give command. Now I have set it to the block ID 137, which is command blocks. So that's really useful to know because you're gonna need that to spawn them in. Now I'm just gonna give myself these blocks. I'm also using the pick block function. If you don't know what that is, uh, the block that you have currently, that you're currently pointing your cursor at, um, when you hit middle mouse button, it will give you that block on whatever uh, slot on your hotbar that you have selected. So I'm just gonna get a button and I'm gonna, put a sign up actually so I'm just gonna put another one back here um, for the weather command so let's put a button and this is slash weather that's at an angle but that's fine slash weather 
Uh, let's do rain. Slash weather, rain. So, when you hit the button, it will start raining. Now, I haven't tried this um, too much. I don't know whether this works. No, that does not work. Let's try sun. I, I haven't explored the weather command that much. Okay, what about sunny? Nope. Weather off. I don't know how this command works. All I know is that rain works. Um, so that'll be something that you guys should look up. Because I don't use the weather command that much. I just usually use the toggle downfall. Because I'm usually using it just to turn off rain. Uh, usually not to turn on rain. So that's not something I've explored. Now this is a pretty good one. This is set spawn point. So it's just slash spawn point at P and then coordinates. Um, now if you click that it'll see it set my spawn point because I am the closest player uh, to those coordinates. Now if I use the slash kill command that'll kill me and I will respawn here which is where I set the the spawn. And you'll notice that I've kept my inventory. Now this is an interesting uh, interesting thing that I've just discovered which I quite love which is the slash game rule command. Now if you look it gives you these uh, these things here. Now command block output that's a good one to know because that will hide command block um, uh, commands so people will not be able to see them uh, when you do that stuff. Now uh, I have this set to um, keep inventory so I did slash game rule keep inventory and then true and that means that whenever you whenever you die you will keep your inventory when you respawn it's just a very useful thing especially when doing redstone now over here I just have a quick example of something you can do so say you are building an adventure map you hit this button I was actually let me get rid of this I, I was given lava but um, you can see it teleports me over there and gives me lava. So you can do something like that where it'll teleport you into a room and give you your necessary armor and weapons and things. Um, so you don't have to do like a chest that'll run out. It'll, every time somebody hits the button, teleport that person and give them the item. So that's very useful. Now here is the mystery button, which I have, I've made a little box around. Um, and this is just a little useful, little, it's a trap, basically. You can build this for your servers and have this in your house or something so somebody's breaking into your house and they go oh what's this button they hit the button now uh, apparently it didn't work that's that's kind of a bummer um oh that's why hold on fix the redstone I think that'll work let's try this again boop yeah, there we go. So what this is doing is constantly teleporting me to this spot. Now this is a, where the game rule command becomes useful. You can do game rule command command block output false. Uh... Well, let's just kill me. Uh, oh, it respawns me here. Oh, because it's always consistently teleporting me. Uh, that's good. Well, as you can see, this is a very annoying trap. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember where... TP splice 14. It'll probably do it faster than I can possibly do this. So, as you can see, this is a very, very annoying trap, and someone has to turn it off to, to, undo it. Um, trying to remember. Oh, let's see. 363, 4, 11, Nope. That keeps teleporting me. All right. Fun. Well, as you can see, very, very annoying. Um, and there's really not much I can do about it. 
actually. I think I've completely trapped myself. So I'll figure out a way to get out of this. But, um, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, until next time, build some really, really annoying traps. Um, and, yeah, you can have some fun with, with, uh, command blocks. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching, and, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.